Hi everybody, I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger. It's not cute, not knowing. It's time to know. But first, we got to start off with a hug. Come on, come on in. How you guys doing? We got to send out special prayers to those in the golf course, golf coast. Hurricane Laura looks like it's going to be a category four which is a very dangerous storm. It's something about this time of the year, when you think about Hurricane Katrina, when you think about Hurricane Harvey. Oh, gosh. You know, I guess if you live down in that, you know, area, you're taking a chance because you never know when a hurricane will come. But let's keep them, keep them in prayer because they're going to need it. I got the tales on the new season of The Mass 4. Nick Cannon's going to be back. Even with everything that's going on, Nick Cannon's going to be back. This is going to be the fourth season. It's going to air Wednesdays, 8 o'clock on Fox. All the judges are coming back when you think of Ken Jeong, Robin Thicke, Nicole Scherzinger. I could finally say her name right. <laughs> Jenny McCarthy, they're all coming back. They're promising more celebrities, more outrageous costumes, but that's about all they would give us. But Nick Cannon, despite everything that he's been through with the comments and the apologies and just, he's coming back. The new season of The Masked Singer is going to debut this fall. Things do not look good for the son of basketball great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. His 28-year-old son was arrested earlier, right, right about like early June, for stabbing his neighbor. And everyone was wondering, well, what the heck happened that you stabbed your neighbor? The neighbor is talking. The neighbor was stabbed in the back, in the back of the head, with a large hunting knife. And he says it basically started when he went to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's son, who is 28, and said, I see your grandmother taking the trash out. She's like 83 years old. Are you going to help her? Do you ever help her? Well, the son went off and stabbed the man. But you not helping your grandmother take the trash out and she's 83 years old? What is wrong with that picture? And then you haul off and you stab your neighbor. Now, there's such a thing as newsy neighbors, but then there's kind of like a, you're letting your grandmother, she's 83, take out the trash? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's son is facing up to 10 years in jail. Yesterday, I talked about the music of Aaliyah is going to be available. Well, it's the 19th anniversary of her death, but her family has granted permission that her music is now going to be allowed on streaming services. So you're going to be seeing that soon, but it was 19 years ago that we lost Aaliyah. Halle Berry. We thought she was divorced in 2016 from her last husband, Olivier Martinez. Apparently, there are some loose ends, like the group. There's some loose ends going on. And Hallie wants to represent herself and be her own lawyer in court. I think that's interesting. They have a young son together. The marriage didn't really last long. When they were together, he got into an altercation with baby daddy number one, beat him up real bad. It was just a mess. He wanted to take the son out of the country because he's French. And it was just, it wasn't good. But Hallie wants to represent herself. Big congratulations to Tia Mowry. She lost 68 pounds. She gave birth less than two years ago. And she is now talking about her weight loss journey. She looks like a, an entirely new person, but she lost a whopping 68 pounds. I mean, it's just like, Tia, is that you? Pastor John Gray. Okay, so I'm convinced that people want to, first it was entanglements. Now it's 
I was being extorted. Pastor John Gray, he is no stranger to cheating on his wife. And this week, Tasha K pulled out all the receipts. There was a side chick and she recorded, you know, their conversation. He was complaining about his wife's cooking and, you know, they were going to go away to an island and his son was in the car. Pastor John Gray is speaking. He's got that church down in South Carolina. You may have seen him with Trump. You may have seen him as a televangelist. Pastor Gray is saying he was being extorted. He says, it was only phone calls, only phone calls. There was no hookups, none. But isn't that still cheating? You know, there is such a thing as emotional cheating. There, there, there is. And sometimes if you're answering the phone calls and answering the texts, that's still like cheating. Well, Pastor John Gray's with his lawyer. He is saying he is being extorted. Now, another story I told you about this week. Jerry Falwell Jr., the son of the legendary Jerry Falwell. He had to step down from Liberty University where he's making over a million a year because him, his wife, and the pool boy were all in some kind of entanglement. His wife was having the affair with the pool boy for seven years. And he was like, and I forgave my wife and, you know, everyone can sin. But he didn't talk about his sin. He liked to watch them have sex. He had to step down from Liberty University. But he too was claiming, I was being extorted. Entanglement, extorted, it all equals cheating. Idris Elba, he's going to be blood sport in the new movie Suicide Squad 2. Yes, Suicide Squad is coming back. Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie. Idris is going to be blood sport, a new character. He is doing a docu-series on the BBC. He's from British. I'm sure they'll show it from Britain. I'm sure they'll show it over here. It's a docu-series all about boxing. I think that's going to be very interesting. He just announced that. And T.I. and 50 Cent are joining forces. CBS All Access is the CBS Network's streaming service. You know, there's a thousand streaming services out there. 50 Cent is going to be producing a new TV series starring T.I. And it's going to be about New York City's first hip-hop cop. Both of them are actor, rappers. Both of them really getting in to acting. And T.I. is, he's good at acting. He may say some crazy things, but he, he really has shown his chops as an actor. And now, I believe it's called 24 Hour 7. It was kind of like a, it was kind of like a different kind of title. But 50 Cent is producing this for T.I. And it's going to be on the CBS streaming service, CBS all access. They do the Twilight Zone. They do the Star Trek series. So they're really expanding with their streaming service. I'm so glad you guys could hang out, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend, leave a comment. I read the comments. I do. And you know that I do when I give you a heart and sometimes I jump in and we'll, and we'll answer a question or anything that's like going on. It's not cute not knowing is the saying that I love to say because you'd always keep up, keep up to know. Thank you for checking out the channel and letting me be just a little part of your day. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Thanks for joining me.